I will use the Phoenix down for this. So now, once again, it's going to be the same kind of treatment here. We need a Silence Buster. Um, but first, to be fair, we need... We need Auron. So, it's very, like, slow and methodical here, but we're making our way through. And, well, apologies if there was a very quick way to do it that I, I haven't spotted yet, but <laughs> if I think of one in editing, I, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for now, um, I'm just making sure I get the win with what I know at this stage, at least. Okay, let's get Tidus immediately back in. Ah, but he he's not, yeah... It's got to be Titus and Kimari together, I think. So let's just attack for now. Now we need the armor break again. Uh, Orin's MP also going to be a problem, so I can't spam armor break too much in this in this challenge. He missed. Oh, I forgot he's got darkness. No. That was silly. That was silly. Oh God, I hate these guys. Let's use Kimari. Zombie silence curse. He's got like 8 million statuses, man. But yeah, I think that breath's still coming. There's nothing I can do about it this time around. But at least he'll lose some of those statuses as a result, I think. So I think we'll take it this time. So yeah, don't be fooled. It looks like a magical move, but just because it's silenced doesn't mean it won't use breath. I have definitely got game overs from that before. Definitely happened. Um, getting MP back seems a bit more likely than getting softs back, so... The sooner it is. So, same deal again. I've got to get that silence buster back on. Good critical there. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Oh, he's got the piercing. I forgot about that. Nice. Okay. Let's get back into it. Okay. Now we're moving. But it's going to use breath again. So our two delay attacks are enough here. Yeah. Push it back even further. Um, does this push Kimari up far enough? Maybe. Yeah, I think at this stage I've got to take one more breath. It's not quite set up how I want it to, to be. But we're gonna win this. We just need to be patient. But I have used up a lot of resources in order to do this. He's not zombified, right? Good. So every three actions you take, you will get a breath on the next turn. It's crucial that you don't have that happen. But I will need to reapply here. Oh, I used Dark Buster. Man, it's all going wrong here. Just have not been able to... There's just so many things to think about and like make sure you get it done in the right order and all this kind of shit. Been a shambles. Already it's been like three actions now, I think. So... Sheesh. Another soft. And bring Kimari in. Okay, now we can start the whole delay attack thing again. I really need to teach everyone lan Lancet somehow. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think one person just using delay attack is not enough against it. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of helping, but Kimari's agility is not high enough, unfortunately. Yeah, so we're gonna have to take our chances once again. Keep unit out there to avoid the game over. God damn it, this thing has been a real like boss battle in and of itself, but we are going to get there. Not long to go now. But it's cost me a lot, it really has. It's cost me more than it should as well. Um, but that's how it goes. I will defer the turn to Waka. I have to keep reapplying the Silence Bust. As you've seen, the Pharaoh's Curse in return is just too annoying. I can't manage with that. Okay. Is it worth trying to get a steal here? Yeah, why not? While it's silenced. When it's down to like the final hit, I will try to rotate in a couple more people just to be safe. Like Lulu, even though she is slow. But even with her, when you do a rank 1 move like that, you're okay. My screen went blank, but I think I'm okay. Right. Um... Has everyone had a turn now? I'm pretty sure everyone has, so I will try to steal. In fact, I won't. <laughs> I'm too worried now. I'm just, I'm getting paranoid. I don't want to lose the fight here. Yeah, now I definitely have time for one hit. Sorry, steal. Oh, what a battle, man. Yeah! Get out of here. But this cost me a lot. If I have like another five of those, uh, I'm probably going to run out of stuff here. But there you go. We've got two. Uh, please at least one of them be stoneproof for my troubles, man. Please. Auron getting stoneproof would be nice. Okay, three free slots. I can't complain about that. That's good. And what about you? Yeah, maybe... Do they drop Stoneproof? I think they do drop Stoneproof. I've just been unlucky. Yeah, they do drop Stoneproof, but it's a 1 in 7. Stone Ward is a 4 in 7. Stoneproof is a 1 in 7. So it's unfortunate. But we have a lot of slots now, which is good. And we got a lot of Sphere Levels for our troubles. So, like I say, it was one of those where it drained a lot. Uh, a lot of things I can't get back. But it has given me... Um, it has given me a lot too. So... Maybe not for the guys furthest along here, because obviously their AP requirements are already much higher. But I am close to Haska with no MP. <laughs> yeah, Tidus literally down to zero MP here. So that's another thing. I don't have a lot of ethers. And I'll have to look. I don't think maybe you can steal turbo ethers from someone uh, as like a rare steal. I'll need to look that up as we as we continue fighting. But yeah, I forgot to Lancet with Kimari as well. I should have Lancet it against the Demonoliths, but that's fine. We just haven't had many easy ones. Like, even if I got something like um, an Adamantoise, like I can literally Petrify Grenade it out. If I got a Varuna, I can use Petrify Grenade. But I think I've barely faced anything that you can defeat with a Petrify Grenade at this point. So it's definitely not been an easy run, for sure. And well, there's still Omega Weapon to come. I mean, at this stage, Omega Weapon feels silly. But um, we are going to be, as you can see, every single battle, we're getting stronger and stronger. And maybe by the time we get to Omega Weapon, we'll be able to hang in there. So we'll just have to see. Because Omega Weapon is, of course, very powerful, but not, like, not absolutely insane or unattainable. Got to remember that she's got a Death Touch weapon as well. Maybe there's a niche scenario in which that comes in handy. Got to see. 
but I really need to encounter some adamantoids because getting healing waters would be huge. And stamina tablets, of, of course, for double HP and for auto potion potentially as well. So I'd love to get like 10 adamantoids encounters before I fight uh, Omega if I get that far. But so far, at least, we have faced the most difficult, like, Great Malboro. We haven't had a real battle against Great Malboro, and maybe we won't have to, depending on whether our tricks work, and against a Demonolith, so... Hmm. We'll just have to see. Yuna's MP not doing too hot, so I've got to be careful. But I would say that was a solid effort against uh, a very difficult enemy. Got to remember to change back to the correct weapon as well. If I can find it. Because I've got... They're both called Sonic Steel now. Okay. No, it's actually... Yeah, that's why I couldn't find it. Now, for Auron, I'll have a look at what I can customize on here. There might be some good stuff. Again, maybe some SOS Protect, that kind of thing. Then again, we haven't really faced those Geminis. You can only face those outside. So I've got to be careful and not waste too many light curtains here. That could be my undoing as well. Yeah, no Stone Proof yet. I will literally customize Stone Proof onto this if necessary as well. Um, even though it would be a bit redundant. SOS Shell, I think um, it's probably a good one. Yeah, there's not much else, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, for now, I'll leave it at that. But I will equip it. Yeah, unfortunately, I thought maybe in terms of like equipment, I'd already have some really big upgrades, but nothing. Actually, he does have his Defending Bracer. Does that have a Stone Proof on it? Hmm. Eh. If only it was Stone Proof instead of Silence Proof, maybe better, but... Now, number three, I could definitely get this one. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's unlucky. I, I always forget, like, if you get two out of three, I thought you always get the third one automatically. Now, back to a good encounter, but we have one less character who can use Provoke, which is a big problem. And so I think i got to give this guy an Aether. I only have seven, but Titus needs them because, as you've seen, Provoke has been an absolute star so far. And so I can't miss out on Provoke. very necessary. Now lots of petrified grenade steels needed. And I still I keep forgetting to move it to memory cursor. <sighs> um Yeah, just gonna steal. There's not much else I can do. There you go, so rare steel. The Petrify Grenade Steels have been on point, I have to say. Already, I think I have enough for a Stone Proof, if necessary. But it's going to be hard to decide, again, who to give it to, because... I don't even know who my starting party will be against Omega Weapon. I feel like, again, Riku kind of has to be in there, but also maybe not. So, I don't know. That's why I, I kind of want to conserve everything as much as I can on the other hand as well, to make a decision at the end. But I think we're done with the steals now. Oh no, okay, one more rare. I don't think we'll get any more steals after that. Uh, keep bringing in Lulu. Oren's not going to be able to do that. Get some free healing in while I'm here. And Walker. I'm really annoyed that I accidentally made Auron learn Drain now. That sucks. Come on, boys. Get it done. Nice. Obviously, no overkills here, so we're not going to get the benefit of that. But I 
That's a shame, though, losing that chest. It's only got two. Not my best performance. Okay, but Hayska is a nice find. I mean, I'll try not to use it as much as possible because of my MP problem. But, hey. Reflect could also come in clutch. But with Yuna, I'm increasingly worried about um, MP. I do have six more ethers left, but... You could burn through those very quickly if you're not careful. So yeah, in terms of Omega, if I if I get that far, I can't at this stage I can't plan ahead. I don't know what my starting lineup will be. I need to do some research for that one. But so far, we're still alive. Let's also take a look at how many petrified grenades we have. 24. Okay, that's good. So I think, again, I can keep going now. So far, so good. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do for Auron in terms of weapon. Give him like a zero, one MP cost. But yeah, I don't think any of this stuff's going to be useful. So let's keep going. Now we can go back to Heading towards Ultima, of course, the first barrier. There you go. This is the encounter that I wanted. Now, against this guy, um, you might be thinking, okay, provoke once again. I'm sure that's, that's the trick here, but no, it's not. Uh, the trick with this guy is that you can put it to sleep. And so if you do that you can get a lot of steals in. So that's what we're going to do. Let me see if it's susceptible to slow. That's something I should check. No, it can't be slowed. Okay, so let's get stealing and see what we can do. Healing waters, either one. I mean, just basically get as many steals as you can. That's the goal here. That's what we're going to be trying to do. And then once we're done, we're just going to Petrify Grenade to finish the battle. We're not going to do anything more than that. It does have 40 MP, so I can at least grab that. Every little helps. And if anything, I think it's worth using some of that MP to just haste up Riku here. Because I want to get as many steals as possible. Now, a high AP customer, so I want to bring everyone Let's in. End this. Bring everyone in. If there's any enemies worth using sleeping powders on, it's these guys. I'd love to get at least like three or four steals. That's two. And well, to be fair, Yuna does go by Riku's grid. I wonder if it's worth breaking the lock. And getting her steal and use as well. I think it's probably a good idea, so... That's, that's what I will likely be doing. I do have the level 2 spheres to do it. And it's perfectly a legitimate thing to do as you play. Okay, still asleep. It'd be nice to get a stamina tablet too at this stage. Um, anyone? I think Yuna herself hasn't taken a turn. There you go, that's steal number four. No rare steals, but at this stage I, I can't be too greedy. So I'm going to speed up here. Just keep going until it wakes up. I'm not going to put it to sleep a second time. I think that's kind of unnecessary. Especially this far in, when you've stolen this many times, the odds of you getting anything are pretty low. Okay. Just have to be careful to not take one move too many. Otherwise you will pay. Oh. Okay, so now I have to use a Petrify Grenade for the win. There you go. You see, like, this is how easy it can be, but I just have not encountered that many. Oh, Tylus didn't get... Uh, that's done. So this is what I mean. These little, like, optimizations. Obviously, because he had the first turn, I completely forgot that I swapped Riku in on the first turn. I didn't get anything else. But you can see, I mean, Yuna's getting very close to this lock. And she would be able to break through. So, 
I think that's, that's something that would make you know, very interesting because, again, look at that magic defense. And that can definitely come in handy, depending on the situation. So, we'll see. But he's still quite a long way away from Osmos, so I do wonder if I'd be able to get there at this stage. Now, I have how many? Do I have two left? Yeah. Another question is, do we get Auron to break into this grid? Is there an ability? I mean, obviously Sentinel's a great ability, but it's all the way over here. With this, I think it's right near the start, though. So I think his gains will be uh, affected, but he does get Provoke pretty close by. And Delay Attack. But his MP has always been a little bit crap as well, so I'm unsure. I don't know if it's worth it for him. It's only one point of strength here. And the strength gains are pretty bad on Tyus's grid. So, yeah, not so sure. Getting Bio could definitely help. Um, I think against like the Geminis that we could face on the top part, Bio could make a difference. 1,780, not bad. Okay. Now, I want to try the whole, like, quick save, auto save thing. Um, okay, I honestly, I'm not going to mess around with it. It's a bit dodgy. It literally says Control Shift Q to auto save, but then it says, like, load save file when you try to do it. So, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to try to basically do no saves. Um, I think once I get, if I can get to, if I can get past Omega uh, Ultimate Weapon, then it won't be as big of a problem because I'll have that nice like auto save slot. But until then, anything can happen. Like at this point, I think if I die, I lose all of the progress. So uh, yeah, I'm at that stage where I'm starting to get worried. So I have to make it to at least that checkpoint. That's like a minimum. Even if I ultimately don't beat Omega, as long as I have my checkpoint there and I get all the way to him, I think I can I can keep my head held high. Now, I didn't notice if I got anything from Adamantoys. I don't think I did. Wow. What the f right, let's keep going. Slow it back down. Okay. What have we got this time? Ambushed. Okay. So, Auron does not have that full overdrive gauge, and so what are our, what are our options now? Well, I did mention it already, but provoke is another thing that we can use to get ourselves out of trouble. Now, literally in the previous battle. I made sure I gave Titus an ether to make sure he um, he had some MP. So this is how you can survive against the Great Malbro in the Omega Ruins. Hey you, over here! Now this isn't automatically a win here because when you provoke this guy, it still does a very annoying attack that hits a lot of people, and it does basically a fixed amount of damage. And so um, now. It could use up a lot of resources if you're not careful. So Titus has to stay in the party here because he's going to do a lot of damage, hopefully. Um, can this guy be slowed? I don't think so. It's another one I'm going to have to look up. I last faced it in auto battle when this kind of stuff wasn't an option. So um, Negative statuses. Delay, doom, eject, provoke, all breaks, immune to haste. Okay. So it's not immune to delay attacks, so maybe with Kimari I can use some kind of delay. Now it might be worth with Yuna to just use Prey to try to offset the damage. I think I'll haste up Yuna as well. Again, it's a game of trying to save resources as much as we can. 
because getting hit for 900 every time with everybody until I take out 64,000 is going to take a while. So, got to be careful. So she can get three preys in. This is going to offset a decent amount of that damage. So, I think that's pretty good. And I think I'll get Kimari to haste up Tidus as well. I still haven't changed the memory cursor because at this stage because I'm an idiot, but this isn't too bad. I think it can kind of work. Okay, Titus now has a full overdrive, which I will use, I think. Again, we're trying to get to 10, so we at least get slice and dice for him. So let's do that. I'm kind of glad I don't have attack reels. I'm so out of practice with attack reels that I just can't even, I can't even do it anymore. But I am convinced that the the Steam version has different timings that I'm not, I'm not really used to, to using. Because like I say, I've had a few runs on it. Um, obviously, auto battle. Then I had um, my no sphere grid run, in which again I didn't use. I don't think I used attack reels because I probably did it with no trio. So Steam Steam version runs where I've used um, attack reels kind of hasn't really happened. So that's another reason I've not been as good with it. But you can see even tied it's like 1,200 damage is just really not that good. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Um... It can be a way to, to help Auron gain a bit more um, overdrive, I think. I might as well get some damage out of him. Okay, still not that much, as you can see. Ugh, sheesh. It's going to be random variants whether they die or not. <laughs> not good. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure nothing goes wrong here. Even if Titus dies, we should be okay. <sighs> it's close. I'm just doing my best and try to not use like high potions, mega potions, all that kind of crap. And still 51,000 left. At this stage, let me try to speed things up again with the fire gems that I've collected. This is another place in which they could be useful. Only six of them, unfortunately, but they do about 5,000 damage a pop. What, 4,500? And Lulu. Well then, what next? I don't think fire is going to do all that, all that much here. Need a light? But hey, we get to hear the quote. Yeah. But the same as a Tidus attack, basically. Um. Yeah, I don't think fire gem is particularly useful against anything else you encounter here. So it's a good enemy to use it against, I would say. But as you can see, basically the same damage to everybody. Daredevil, nice. Um, honestly, I'm just going to use it again. At least with this one, I seem to be getting some timing going, which is nice. Could prove necessary. Um, let's keep up the fire gems. Probably still has like 20,000, 25,000 HP, or maybe, yeah, probably closer to 20,000. We'll find out soon. Oh, Lulu died? Come on, man. 
That is unlucky. I didn't I didn't catch the, the exact damage number there, but that's annoying. Ugh. Let me check the HP. 17,000 is still pretty high. I think Waka hasn't had a turn yet, so... But almost a classic mistake that you make with um, with these kind of battles is that you swap out the person who has provoke. You kind of autopilot it, and then you forget to bring them back and recast provoke, and so that can cost you badly. So <laughs> I almost made that mistake here, almost, almost. But Kimari's going to die here, so. Yeah. Not my best work. So, let's get Kimari back. I think I've been pretty frugal with Phoenix down so far, but this was a bit of an unnecessary one, I have to admit. Um, no owl bed potions. Also, another reason why I wanted to try and do it before Beacon L is because owl bed potions are so good for healing. And so we don't get the benefit of those either. So, it, again, it adds to the challenge. Um, yeah, now with this we should be able to finish it off. But that SOS regen also coming in helpful, I think. So the final fire gem, we, we literally, we farm six and we've used six already. And still, I mean, six, it's like a basically almost a third of a great Malbro's HP, all of those fire gems that I got. It's not that great. How much HP left? 11,000. If only I had one more, I could have got it done. Um, I think I've got enough here with Prey. But yeah, SOS regen for Riku is, is a good job here. Do I have any bomb cores left? I do. Eh. Why not? Yeah, it's definitely going to need another round of attacks anyway, so I might as well just... Now I can at least try to steal a couple of remedies, I think, while I'm here. So there's one. And then this is final round. Um, but let's make sure we actually get the win here. Uh, might, might not be enough again. Shit, I should have attacked. We could do like a fire fu fire of fury with Lulu, but honestly, I don't want to risk that shit in case it goes wrong and mess up. I think, yeah, this is probably the best move. Really going to make sure now. Mana tonic, interesting. That could, yeah, that could help. Okay, yeah, we're guaranteed the win here. Titus will not miss. Uh, but only one remedy from this whole encounter. That's kind of lame. But yeah, there you go. That's how difficult it can be. But once again, we made sure we rotated everybody. And we've got a serene shield. Let's see what kind of elements, statuses, sorry, we can protect. 